Virgos, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Hey, my lovies. Welcome back, guys, to another daily message. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so, so much for all you do for our channel. It's early in the morning over here, so I will be singing our song later, okay? Sing it for me, y'all. Sing it for me, okay? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into your message today, Virgo. I'm feeling some beautiful energy, so I feel that feeling. It's about to be a good one. Let's go ahead and dive in. Sending you a multitude of love, light. As always, this is a channel of high vibrations, motivation, acceleration, and healing energy. You already know, okay? Sending you my positive vibes as always. So let's go ahead and get started, Virgo, and see what messages Spirit wants you to know for today. Let's see what messages Spirit wants you to focus on. What's going to help you in your situation? Spirit, show me clear messages for Virgo. What messages do you have for my amazing soul tribe today? Show me clear messages for Virgo. Spirit, please. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Okay, so the first card out, what do we have here? Unstoppable. Boom. You are limitless. You can handle anything. You don't underestimate yourself. It says you have many unique talents. Don't underestimate yourself, okay? So spirit is just encouraging your heart. Something may have made you feel, um, I don't know, maybe challenged a little bit. Or maybe it made you feel like, I don't know, maybe you were second guessing yourself. Um, asking yourself, you know, am I good enough for this? Can I do this? Will I make it through? I mean, you know, how will it turn out? You know, but spirit is saying you're unstoppable. It's all about what you think you can do. It's all about what you go after. Whatever you go after, you're going to get. You know you get what you want, right? You know you're a master manifester and whatever you say will be, all right? So walk in that energy. That's all you have to do. And spirit is touching and agreeing with you right here. You are unstoppable. Let's go, Virgo. Okay? Show me what else Virgo needs to know about their situation or what messages we can tell Virgo to help them. What does Virgo need to know? Another elevation card. Beautiful soul. You glow when you are comfortable in your skin. Your beauty goes beyond what you can see in a mirror. You are perfect as you are. So again, spirit is touching and agreeing with you, letting you know you are a beautiful vessel and your beauty shines from within. So continue to shine your light, you know, talk good to yourself. Talk nice to yourself. Don't second guess yourself. I'm feeling like this could be something where you want to do better. You know, you could do better and you're just in this energy of just questioning yourself questioning your ability questioning if you're beautiful if you're attractive enough if you could do this thing whatever this is you're going after you're looking at yourself whatever this situation is is causing you to examine yourself and spirit is saying okay well let me help you <laughs> you know number one you're unstoppable number two you're a beautiful soul and it shine your beauty shines from deep within and the outside does match the inside. All right. So spirit is letting you know that you are good enough. Another elevation card. So this these messages are raising your vibration. Okay. Something could be happening in your life where it's making you feel a little bit down. Maybe you're going through some type of transition. Maybe it's something happening that makes you question yourself. And spirit is helping you elevate. So let's see what this one says. Your greatest challenges are your biggest blessings. Don't give up before the magic happens. You are leveling up. So you know how it is right before a big blessing. It seems like things are stagnant or slow. Or maybe it seems like things aren't coming together the way you planned. I feel like it's always that slow down period before the big boom. You know, it's like really calm and quiet or just things are moving gradually along and then boom, a blessing comes in. So I feel like something is about to elevate for you. Okay, something is definitely about to accelerate. All right, and for your heart space, we have be confident. It says shine your light, take up space. You don't need anyone's approval. You deserve, um, you deserve to be proud of who you are. So people don't have to like you. People don't have to approve of what you're doing. They don't have to approve with your way of living. What you do is what you do, and nobody can do it like you. All right, you have your own special blessings and gifts that you contribute to the world and to people around you all who are connected to you so embrace that virgo 
okay? So be confident, all right? Shine your light bright, be yourself. And whoever don't like it ain't for you, and it's okay. We don't care, <laughs> right? You know, it doesn't matter. That's, that's a non-factor in your life because does it pay your bills? No. Is it going to provide you with any type of anything that you need to flourish, grow, or live? No. You know, are they going to stop you just for one thought with one thought? No. So let it fall by the wayside. Be confident and shine your light. Be who you are. Okay? Underneath the bottom of the deck, we have trust yourself. Another elevation card. Another card signifying your growth. Your progression is telling you that you're blossoming, okay? And you're learning, but keep moving down your path. See these butterflies? They're moving. And which way are they going? Up, all right? They're connected to the divine. Trust yourself. Your intuition is powerful. Trust it. Nothing can replace your internal compass. So trust your intuition and do what you feel is right, all right? It's going to lead you down the right path. All right, so let's see what's bringing these cards here. Let's see what is making these cards come out and what you could pay more attention to in your realm. Real quick, we're going to um, clarify these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guys, thank you for bringing me here with my amazing soul tribe, my family. Thank you for blessing us from the head down to our feet. Thank you so much for opening doors that we would not be able to open without you. Making ways out of no ways. Holding us when we feel lonely. Giving us light in a time of darkness and being a friend in a time of need. Thank you for being our protection and keeping a hedge of protection around us and our family. So that no harm, hurt, or danger will come up against us or come to us. Thank you for giving us abundance and overflow. Healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. And victory in every situation we may face. Amen, amen, and amen, hallelujah, <laughs> that deserved a hallelujah, let's go, show me, why is beautiful soul here, what does Virgo need to know about their confidence and how beautiful they are inside and out, why is this here, okay, so we have revisiting the past, maybe you're thinking about past thoughts, Things that make you feel a little bit down or making you second guess yourself. Childhood memories. And you have an innocence about you in the spirit. And I feel like some of these childhood memories aren't the best. I feel like somebody may be having haunting memories of the past and things that made you feel down or made you feel less than. Maybe somebody is thinking about your struggles and the things that you've been through. Or maybe it's somebody that's in your energy from the past that's making you relive these past traumas and past memories. All right, maybe they're not from the past. Maybe it's just somebody that's triggering you. But Spirit wants you to know that you're a beautiful soul, okay? And it's important that you feel comfortable in your skin. Now is not then. You've grown from that energy, all right? You know more about yourself and how to embrace your flaws and make them make them beautiful, right? You know how to let them, let them pivot you into the next level of who you are. You know, it, they help you reach further. They help you push harder. Your flaws, your faults, your downfalls. So this is all you have to do. When you think about those things from the past, transfer those thoughts into your victories. Because that was then, this is now, right? Right. Let's go. Unstoppable. You are limitless. You can handle anything. What's making Virgo think about this? Why is this here for Virgo? celebration, friendship, creativity, and creativity and collaboration. All right. So maybe you're thinking about working with somebody or doing something amazing. Maybe you have one of those good money making ideas that you always come up with and you're thinking about embarking on it. You're thinking about collaborating with somebody or doing something different that you've never done before. So let's say you're unstoppable. Whatever you touch will turn into gold. You got it. All right. You got it. So go for it, Virgo. Go after it. Okay. Next, be confident. Shine your light. Take up space. You don't need anyone's approval. What's making this come out for Virgo? What is it about somebody's approval that Virgo needs to know? What is this? Conflict. 
disagreement, competition, and defeat. So somebody may be up against some serious competition here. You could make somebody could make you feel challenged. Somebody could always be causing conflict or trying to make you feel defeated or always arguing. Or maybe this is something in your workplace or in your area or somewhere where you are that's making you second guess yourself. Something could be it could be too many arguments and every time you turn around is something. But spirit says and this could have something to do with compassion or creativity, having compassion with others or creativity or something like that. Let me see what I feel. <clears throat> I'm going to let you look at it while I feel the energy. I feel like this is somebody that's arguing with you or causing you strife, making you feel very emotional. I feel like you could be feeling a bit defeated, five of swords energy um, in some area of your life. And it could even be something that you chose. That's making you feel less confident or something that you're moving to moving through. All right. Maybe something came back to bite you in your butt. Or maybe it's just somebody that is jealous and very envious of you of how beautiful your energy is. And they're making you feel challenged. But spirit wants you to love yourself with this Ace of Cups energy, love, new relationships, compassion, and creativity. You're about to get some new creative ideas to help pivot you forward. Here it is right here. And you're going to have collaboration. People are going to work with you and be happy with you. They're going to be happy with this new idea. It's going to be successful. Okay. Um, also, I'm getting love yourself. Make sure that you show the same amount of love or more. You should be loving yourself even more than you're able to extend to somebody else. Okay. So I'm getting love yourself first. Appreciate yourself. And this will raise your frequency, raise your vibrations and give you new ideas that are going to flourish. Okay, you see this dove representing good news. Okay, so there we have it. Be confident. Shine your light even brighter. Somebody doesn't like it and they're trying to cause you problems, shine brighter. All right, do you, Virgo, do you. Your greatest challenges are your biggest blessings. Don't give up before the magic happens. You are leveling up. You know, sometimes spirit is working behind the scenes for us. Sometimes there are great things that are coming together for us. Um, in the spiritual realm that we don't see. That's why we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by what we know to be true as opposed to what we see. Because sometimes the way this world is, your eyes could be playing tricks on you. A loss could be a win. You feel me? Rejection could be for a victory, right? And sometimes people get cut out of your life and it may hurt so bad because they left. But what happens as soon as they leave? You feel inspired. You feel built up. You feel capable of doing anything because sometimes these people are dead weight all right so let's see what spirit wants to tell you about this card your biggest blessings um your challenges are your biggest blessings don't give up you're leveling up show me why is this here for virgo and i love you guys i hope you guys are feeling good today happy sunday to you this is our lighthearted message, and then we're going to get into the hot tea a little bit later. You know how it goes. All right. So a painful end, a deep wound, betrayal, loss, and a crisis. But Spirit is saying, look, your pain has a purpose, okay, boo? It really does. Your pain has a purpose. And you've been chosen to do something amazing. And it's not going to be easy. All right? It's not going to be easy. After this pain goes away, and after you finally get through this painful ending because it's an ending that was inevitable ten of swords something was meant to happen okay i feel like you were piling up the swords leading to this situation and i feel like you couldn't take one more stressed out night one more nightmare one more sleepless night one more feeling of agony and defeat and mental stress all right so something came to an end spirit heard your cry out all right but i want you to know that your pain does have a purpose <clears throat> this is because you, you're pregnant with a new idea, new opportunity, something that's going to be birthed from you. All right. I feel like this is also you breaking generational curses, things that had to be um, severed, ties that had to be severed and your family from something having to do with the past. You had to go through this. You had to endure this pain in order to be this amazing blessing that you are today. And you're a blessing to many. A lot of you have jaws of service that people love and appreciate you so much, right? So don't look at this pain as, as just defeat. And don't make it live, make it, don't make this pain, let this pain make you live in regret 
or confusion or feeling bad about any of your choices because it has a purpose. The purpose is to help you excel, to help you grow stronger skin so you can make it through this next next big blessing because where you're about to go ain't no place for crybabies. You can't be sad and, and, and woes me energy and feeling like the cup is half empty. No, baby, your cup is full. See that? Your cup is overflowing and you have to embrace it. You have to be in a mental space to be able to obtain it. So your pain has a purpose. You had to go through this Ten of Swords energy to be activated, to be able to handle this next blessing, okay? Remember I told you that, all right? Trust yourself. Your intuition is powerful. Trust it. Nothing can replace your internal compass. Tell me why this is here for Virgo. Something has you questioning your intuition, questioning yourself. Wondering if you're able to do this. Nine of cups. What I tell you? Wish fulfillment, contentment, satisfaction, and gratitude. Trust yourself. Your, your dreams are coming true. Slowly but surely, one, one improvement at a time. Step by step, it's happening for you. And you just have to take a look, right? You have to take your eyes off of the spilled cups and onto what's really lying ahead for you. What are you really looking at here? Is it really a failure? What is it? You know, it's a victory, Virgo. All right. So let's see what our spirit has for you. Three of coins, okay? Teamwork make the dream work, all right? So not only are you going to be celebrating, I feel like also, like I said, with this three of cups and the six of cups, somebody could have revisited you from the past or somebody spoke to you from the past or something like that that's making you in this energy that is triggering right? It's making you think about everything that you've been through, questioning yourself, wondering if you're making the right decision. Trust your intuition, Virgo. Let's see what else Spirit wants to tell you. Beautiful soul, you're unstoppable. Be confident. Your greatest challenges are your biggest blessings. And most of all, trust yourself. Bow. Look at this. I am abundant. I attract everything I need and repeat. Okay. All right, Spirit, anything else you want to tell my amazing soul tribe before we close out this reading? What else do you want to tell Virgo? What else would you like to tell Virgo? Wow. All right, Virgo. So we have three messages from Spirit for you. Underneath the bottom of the deck, here and now is the time, baby. Elevate. Believe in yourself. Manifest. And if you pray, pray. All right? Ask for everything you need from God, Spirit, the universe. It's all one. Okay? And it all works towards your good, especially when you know that you have a spiritual team on your side working on your behalf. Your angels are working nonstop. Don't you ever seen wrestling? Where the man in the middle getting beat down, honey. And you got his partner on the side, full of energy, full of excitement, leaning over the rope saying, tag me. Come on, come on, tag me in. Come on, come on, come on, tag me in. This is what your angels are saying. Tag them in. Use your help. Use your resources, boo. Moving towards the light. This is what spirit wants for you. And spirit wants you to know that you are. Okay, you're moving towards the light. You're on the right track. You're on the right track. Just continue to separate yourself from those things that don't serve you and continue to move forward. Focus, all right? You got blessings coming to you, baby. Everything is going to work out for your good. You have to believe that, honey, to receive it. You can't just listen to Empress Me telling you and your other spiritual gods telling you that you have this coming. You have this blessing. You are abundant. Do you believe it, right? So these are the questions that it's good to ask yourself to make sure that you are in the driver's seat at all times, okay? Like this video if y'all agree, honey. Show me some love down in the comments. Give me some hugs and love and heart so I can love on you back. Let me know you're here for it. You're here for it, Virgo. Believe in your dreams, okay? Spirit wants you to believe in your dreams. Look at this. You're a master manifester. You're doing it, Virgo. Don't doubt yourself. People are amazed at how you change your life around and how you elevate so quick and how you're so resilient in times of stress, distress. You know, you've made it through seasons of lack, okay, rejection, 
all these things that you rebuke now. These things are no longer a part of your life. There is no rejection in your energy. There is no lack in your life. Only good things are ahead for you. All things work together for your good. You have to remember to talk to your situations, okay? Positive intentions. Spirit wants you to set positive intentions. Make sure you're using your energy for good. Make sure you're cleansing your thoughts. Um, make sure you're cleansing your mind of um, wavering thoughts or thoughts of distraction or things that will um, hinder you or things that no longer serve you. You don't want to have thoughts of doubt and things like that that make you um, manifest in reverse or reject a blessing. That's what I was about to say. All right. So set your positive intentions. Okay. I am a being of love and light and I will prosper, period, all right? That's what I'm feeling, all right? So Virgo, my lovies, this was your reading. I don't have to really pull any more tarot because we did use the tarot over here and it was all good. We love it, okay? So definitely remember that your pain has a purpose. Trust your intuition, believe in your dreams, set positive intentions and everything will come together for you, love. And I am abundant. I attract everything I need, period, point blank, okay? I love you guys, and I will turn up for you later. Everybody sleep. I can't be all loud, Virgo, but I do love you. Thank you all for being here with me, and I will see you on the next video. To book your personal reading, book it at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. If you want to email me, it's closer, the number two, mydestiny, and the number one at gmail.com. Bye, loveys.